Hi everybody, so we're on day two on Grandeur of the Seas. It's a full sea day. We're uh, just out here on our, our balcony enjoying the uh, enjoying the beautiful sunrise. We're going to go run and get some coffee and follow along with us today as we, uh, as we uh, show you the first day at sea here. Welcome to Living Phase 2. So there's two options early in the morning for coffee. One is Cafe Latitudes right behind us. It's next to Ben and Jerry's. Um, they serve, um, actually serve Starbucks coffee. It is an extra charge unless you have the deluxe beverage package. You can get coffee cards, you can get the, um, and you can also get the refreshment package. If you get those, then that's included. Um, otherwise, you can go to the uh, Windjammer and you can just get regular coffee up there. So those are the two options. Uh, first thing in the morning to get coffee. We're headed to the Windjammer. Right, so we'll see you in a minute. So this is our favorite place on every cruise ship is the adult solarium area. As you can see, it's uh, 16 years and older. Um, it's about it's about 9.30, Nancy's going on in. And uh, <laughs> this is another nice thing about a ship like Grandeur is uh, <laughs> here you are at uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning and it's uh, absolutely empty. Hi friends, well we just want to wrap up last night's adventures on yeah. our sea day. Yeah, day two day here on two. Grandeur of the Sea. Mm -hmm. We went and had dinner in the main dining room. It's formal night. Uh, typically what we've experienced in the past is formal night is lobster night, but the rumor is true, at least on this ship, there is no more lobster night unless you, uh, you can pay extra for it. Yeah, it's uh, $30 for a full main lobster. Normally, in the past, what you've gotten would, is, would have been a Caribbean lobster mm -hmm. and all, all the lobster you can eat. And uh, that's, uh, you know, another, another thing, mm -hmm. you know, as the cruise ships are trying to recover and as they're trying to, um, you know, get, get out of this crippling debt they're in right now, this is one of the things that's being sacrificed. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no lobster on lobster night here on Grandeur. You had the beef tenderloin. I did, and it was Ooh, actually it was, really good. It was excellent. Um, mm -hmm. Cooked a perfect um, rare to medium rare, which is how I like it, and it was just cut it with a butter knife. It was really good. I should have had that. Yeah. I had a stuffed mushroom that I thought it sounded really good on the menu, but it was it was very average. Yeah. Uh, but I did have as an appetizer uh, pumpkin soup. It was so yummy. Mm -hmm. It was really, really good. Yep. And I had the beef carpaccio and the escargot. I can't be on Royal Caribbean and not have escargot. Yeah, <laughs> so that too. was real good. And uh, for dessert, we had the um, carrot cake and you had the souffle? grand marie souffle. Yeah, that was um, quite yummy. Yeah, and that well. was, they were both excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. great experience in the main dining room. Uh, in fact, the head waiter even took care of us. He was stepping in because like many things, they're, they're a little shorthanded. Mm -hmm. We always say on every one of these, it's still post-COVID, pack your patience. Yeah. Uh, but the service was great. We had yeah. we enjoyed it. Then after dinner, we went to they had a game show, Who Wants to Feel Like a Millionaire, kind of based on the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire mm -hmm. uh, show. It, it a little cheesy, but it, it was cute and it was fun. And then after that, we went to the headliner show, which was uh, Tango Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. And it was, they actually brought in four people from Argentina. Argentina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say Brazil, but yeah, Argentina. 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 Our cruise director's from Brazil. That's what That's you're thinking. Right. <laughs> and it was two dancers, the choreographer or, or uh, chord designer, and, and uh, this, this fellow who played, this may sound silly, he played the accordion, but oh my gosh, I've never heard an accordion played. It was excellent. Yeah. And In fact, was, here we'll show you a couple clips here. Yes, and it was played with uh, some of the band from the ship. They were amazing. The dancers were so, so yeah. good. It was, it was much better than I thought it was going to be. It was, right. it was wonderful. So here's a clip of uh, some of the action. It 
actually was quite a good show. I, to full disclosure, I was like, eh, okay, it's dancing. You I, know, I, I drug him <laughs> along. I, I like Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I, I fully enjoyed it. It was the skill, the beauty, the music. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually did uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. So you know, that's another lesson learned. Give things a try that yeah. you may not normally give a try to, especially on a vacation like this and a getaway. I think Real Caribbean has some wonderful headliners. I mean, I've really mm -hmm. never been disappointed in their headline mm -hmm. shows. Yeah. So then we head back to our room. We got a nice little towel animal you can see here. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yep, you've, you've <laughs> saved him. He's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> and and then uh, we hit the we hit the bed. So uh, we're going to Costa Maya, Mexico tomorrow. We're renting a golf cart, and we'll show you that whole adventure uh, tomorrow. So thank you for coming along with us. We hope these uh, videos, as always, are informative and entertaining, uh, especially the attack of the swans there. <laughs> So, so be if sure it is, to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, friends. Yes, and we'll continue making these, and we hope you enjoy them. Have a great day. Thanks, friends. Bye-bye.